So hello, hello. On my search for uh, cool building stones here, I came across this house here. And yes, it does have cool building stones. Again, it has these uh, Miocene ignimbrites of the Fataga group, which are exposed close by here in North Gran Canaria. So here you see the lenticular textures and uh, the fiamme and some of the inclusions. So here we have beautiful fiamme and uh, here we have some of the lithic glass that were solid prior to incorporation. Here you see a bit of uh, kind of space. That means there was a little bit of rheomorphic flow um, creating some space after the solid glass. Beautiful rocks here built uh, into this uh, rather uh, uh, beautiful historical edifice and uh, there I discovered this kind of plaque here which goes back to 1999 but uh, it's uh, a reminder of some of the turbulent history. It reminds the uh, population here of a pirate attack, a Dutch pirate, uh, Peter van der Doos attacked here 26th of June 1599 and after the resistance of uh, the town he eventually managed to sack the town. So this was one of the key problems here back in history that uh, these uh, settlements here were quite vulnerable to pirate attacks and uh, this is not just Dutch pirates there were also British pirates and uh, Moroccan pirates and uh, North African pirates and uh, uh, all of them wanted to have a share of the richness of the Spanish Empire. So I'm here in Plaza de Santa Ana and uh, here's one of the more modern buildings uh, of uh, a classical era and uh, there of course on the other side beyond this building on the other side of the plaza there is the Cathedral de Santa Ana and wow it's rather impressive rather tall and it's also made of this uh, Fataga age Miocene Ignum Bright. So Juan Carlos is already settling down there uh, getting ready for lunch and I will join him then. So uh, here I'd like to say thank you once more for your attention and I hope you enjoyed our little tour of building stones here in Gran Canaria.